This is Jamie Edson, Marketing Communication Specialist for Equa Marketing, and I'm here today with Susan Hudson, Equa's VP of Marketing. Thank you for joining me today, Susan. Hi, Jamie. I'm happy to be here. Great. As a company, we talk to a lot of doctors, and those doctors ask us quite a few questions. Now, we've decided to answer those questions in a webinar-type forum so that we can share the answers and our unique perspective with any doctor who wants to listen in. This is a first of a series of webinars generated through real questions from real doctors. Today's topic is Google, a pretty big and important topic, so let's jump right in. Now, Susan, a common question among doctors is, how is Google Plus changing the way consumers make buying decisions? Good question. Um, let's start with a little background. There are now over 250 million Google Plus users worldwide. 150 million of these users sign on once or more per month, and of those users, 50% or about 75 million sign in daily. Each user spends more than 60 minutes per day on Google products, and people on average spend about 12 minutes using Google+. Now, another interesting point is that most people who visit Google+, are doing so from mobile devices. Today's consumers are literally carrying the world around in their pockets, Jamie. So if you don't have a quality online presence, one that's mobile optimized, you can't compete. Google has already released Google Plus apps, so it is a must to go mobile. Also keep in mind that Google is smart. They think long term. Their usage numbers will grow tremendously in the future because they now require a Plus account for every Gmail user. So anyone who uses any Google product, Drive, Calendar, Gmail, will have a Google Plus account and be an avid audience for your business. Great. And those are definitely some stag staggering numbers. There are many doctors that have asked about Google Plus and how they should use it to increase their online marketing results. Can you provide some insight and answers on that? Sure. Let's go over a few simple ways to market. Um, first, you can use your About page to target specific keywords and links to the most important and useful pages on your website. You can also create an at-a-glance list of your products and services. Another great idea is to use Google Plus events to connect with your target market. You can send out invites to webinars, business events, or even parties. Um, it's also important to remember to post on Google Plus often and to include keywords in your post. This helps you out with your search ranking. Start identifying users and conversations that are relevant to your market and engage them from your Google Plus business page. Now, you can also use circles to build relationships, but you need to remember that your business page cannot circle someone until they circle you. So it's very important to also have a personal Google Plus page. You build relationships with your personal page, and then you introduce your business page's content whenever it's appropriate. How's that? That's great. It seems like there's quite a bit you can do with Google Plus now. Absolutely. And we do have one last question on this topic, Susan. Many doctors would like to better understand the role Google Plus plays when it comes to search engine optimization. Can you explain that a bit deeper for our listeners? Yes, and as a matter of fact, this is some of the most interesting parts about Google+. Um, it's actually already making its presence known in search results right now. So it's really important to use it to increase your search placement. Um, first off, get more Google Plus followers. When Google Plus followers are logged in, you actually rank higher in their search results. Many people don't know this. Uh, you can do this by levering, leveraging what you already have. Share your Google Plus account on your other social media. Include a Google Plus profile link on your website. You could even use Google Plus uh, widgets or badges that are available. Um, Add a link to your Google Plus to other profile sites if they allow it. And of course, add it to your email signature. Every time you send them email, you have a potential person there that you know may give you a plus one or start following you on Google Plus. Next, you really should make the most of the Google 
authorship option by claiming content that you wrote. When Google Plus users are logged in, they are given the option to add you to their circles right from search results. So claiming authorship is really important. Directly connect to your Google Plus page from your website and from your website to your Google Plus page. Another thing you want to do is to use the Google Plus One button. A Google Plus One click has become more powerful than a Facebook like. Place the button on your website. Now many people don't know this, but the number of, of Google Plus Ones a page gets shows up in search results even if the searcher is not logged into Google Plus. So this is really important. Mm -hmm. Finally, fill out all the information on your Google Plus profile and pages. Google prioritizes different areas of the profile for both on-page optimization and in search results. So keep in mind that the first 55 characters of your, inter your introduction on Google Plus is used in your Google search results. So those are very important. Think them through carefully. Definitely. And thank you for all this in-depth information. I think our listeners have a lot to think about and can use the guidance you provided to start implementing on their own Google+. It was my so, pleasure, Jamie. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, fine. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. It was absolutely a pleasure. I'd love to do it again. And I hope this webinar really helps doctors, you know, zoom in on the answers they need to better understand Google Plus and how it can help them with their online marketing. Yes. And we do appreciate everyone listening and encourage you to mail any additional questions you may have to Susan at Equa.com. That's S-U-S-A-N at E-K-W-A dot com. And we will do our best to answer each question personally. We will also be conducting more webinars like this one in the future on additional topics, so stay tuned. Your question may be featured.